Hello, Gary here. It's so good to be with you all. And I just wanted to give you a few updates of things that are going on. We are in the process of doing some equipment upgrades. So be prepared for those things because we are looking to do not only our podcasting, but we're also looking to take our podcasting and broadcasting. So we can put those two together. Prime example is in our next episode, we will be discussing some of our prophetic dreams that we've been having, some of the things that have been fulfilled, and some of the things that are yet to be fulfilled. But we feel like things are collimating and coming to a completion with a lot of the things that we've been getting. And in this time, in this season, there's going to be a lot of shaking. I know we've had some shaking in the last two years, but this shaking in particular, there's uh, a little bit more to go. And this is a time and a season when we need encouragement because it looks like everything's falling apart. And even though things look like they're falling apart, God is still on his throne and he is still moving. So regardless of what you feel like the times and the seasons are, whether you think it's the end or whether you think that it's, you know, Matthew 24 and a shaking, God is still in the midst of it all. Uh, God is in, in the heavens and he's, he's in the depths below. So regardless of the circumstances, God is on the throne and he is still active and he is still moving. And I also want to mention that one of the things that we're going to be discussing is the dream about the nation, which is a dream that I had and I put out a video for it. And you can also find it in our podcast as well. But in this, it, it describes some of the things that we were going to walk in as a nation. Some of these things have already happened. And then some of the things that are yet to happen. And we want to we wanna brush up on that particular dream as well. So if you have not yet seen the dream about the nation part two, I suggest looking at the link above right here. And we will take you to it so it, it'll be a uh, opportunity for you to brush up uh, on a little bit about what we're going to talk about in advance and even though that it sounds a little gloomish and doomish there is some light at the end of the tunnel and there is some things to grasp there's a lot of meat in it so that you would have to chew and digest it a little bit but in the end there there is some breakthrough that's going to happen and I do want, to, do want to mention that we are in a point in time um, worldwide where it seems like there's going to be a really hopeless situation that's going to occur. But I just want to let you know, regardless of the situations and regardless of the circumstances, no matter how bad it looks, God is on a throne and God is going to move. And that's what we want to, that's what we want to bring to you all is there is light at the end of the tunnel because Jesus is Lord. And... I just want to pray with you all because I feel like we should be praying for Ukraine uh, because they are going through a situation right now. So, Father God, we just thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord, because you are moving in the midst. And, uh, Father, we just glorify your name. Father, we pray for Ukraine, that you would send your uh, long arm upon Ukraine, that you would begin to move on behalf of the nation, that you would begin to slow down the war that is going on, or I should say battle, uh, more or less a battle, that you would slow down the battle and that your provision would move through and that your glory would move through because you are the God of breakthrough. You are the God of provision. Father, your hand is upon the nations. It says in the Bible that your hands are upon the nations. And you choose whether a nation rises, you choose whether a nation falls, you choose whether a nation is established. It all comes down to you, Lord. And we thank you that you are the one that is in charge of everything and not man themselves. Because if it was man themselves, just look at Russia and Ukraine and just look at, uh, look at Germany um, back in World War II. So, Father, we thank you that you are on the throne and you are the author and finisher of all things. So, Father, we just pray and give thanks that the war, or the battle, I should say, is going to end soon as far as Russia and Ukraine is concerned. 
Lord, we thank you that you're moving on in behalf of all things. Father, we thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name, for the breakthrough that is going to occur within the nations and within the world as far as the things that are happening currently. And Father, even though that we're going to be placed into a hopeless situation where it looks like everything is lost, we thank you, Lord, that you are on your throne, and we thank you that you're going to move in the midst of all these things. Lord, we thank you for dreams, and we thank you for, uh, for visions that are given uh, to the saints, and we thank you that with all these things, you will be glorified. Because the things that are happening right now and the things that are going to happen can only be because of you, Lord. Not because of the provision of man, not because of anything that anybody is doing. It is only purely going to be because of you, Lord. And we thank you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. So on top of that, I do want to give a uh, read a scripture, and that is from Acts 11.28. And it says there, one of them named Agabus stood up and began to indicate by the spirit that there would certainly be a great famine all over the world. And this took place in the reign of Claudius. So circling back to what I was just talking about, God does give dreams, visions, and words of knowledge that pertain to things that are happening currently in the world. So just as things were happening currently, uh, prophetically before that famine happened, God spoke to these saints and mentioning that there was going to be a famine. And through all that, people were able to prepare and get ready for the things that were going to happen. And the saints prevailed. The saint, because the saints were prepared... They were able to get through all that kind of stuff. And just as, you know, with Joseph and Joseph receiving a word from the Lord or a dream from the Lord about a famine that was going to come over Egypt, he too, in the old covenant, was prepared and he had other people prepare for everything and there was provision in the midst of the storm. And just as in the dream about the nation that I'm going, that me and my wife are going to discuss um, in the next episode, we will also be explaining about the provision that's going to happen in the midst of the storm. There's already provision that's happening, even though it seems like there's food not on the shelves uh, in our grocery stores. So just keep in mind that it's not quite completely near the end of the food shortage. There's other things that are going to happen, but there is going to be an end point, And there is some breakthrough in between. So we encourage you all, once again, to read Dream About the Nation Part 2, or I should say watch it, Dream About the Nation Part 2, and prep yourselves and prepare yourselves for our episode coming up in which we are going to discuss some of her dreams, my wife, and then my dreams, and how they correlate together, and how it's just like a little, it's a little word of knowledge for things that are, con are to come and how things are going to end up and yeah so just be prepared for that uh our episode will be coming out uh as far as the podcast version will be coming out um next wednesday coming up not this wednesday obviously but next wednesday coming up and then the following saturday after that so there'll be more to come I will send out an update on which dates will be the podcast version and which dates will be the broadcast version. And I can't wait to bring it out to you. I can't wait for you all to see. If you like it, like this video, make a comment and um, share it. I, I invite you to subscribe to this channel because uh, we're, we're a channel that's hoping to not only give encouragement uh, but also teaching. We also want to teach people about how the Holy Spirit moves and how the gifts of the Spirit work and how to be in tune um, to the great move of God that's occurring even right now. And I don't know if you notice, 
but there are many videos out there in Ukraine about revival that's occurring and there's many videos in Russia about revival that's occurring and it's horribly oppressive in Russia right now as far as uh, Christianity is concerned or most religions in general it's very oppressive so that is a breakthrough there's more breakthrough to come if if you have any kind of prayer i would say pray for breakthrough pray for the glory to fall down upon ukraine pray for the glory to fall upon russia and pray for the glory to fall upon not only the world but also the united states of america because there is a revival and a renewal and a reformation that's going to occur and it's going to rock the world so how long did that all those things last that's yet to be seen but I can tell you this something's coming and there's glory in it so we cannot take it for granted we must push forward and move towards